What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Cart Life TV, where we do fun and dumb stuff with golf carts. And we're back with another episode because we got a cool piece of fan mail. This is our first email that a subscriber sent us. And I'm gonna read it to you because it's pretty funny. Hey Cart Life, George here from Hutchinson, Kansas. Been subscribed for three weeks now. Really enjoy the videos and can't wait to see you attempt the Key West trip. It's cute. Yeah. Uh, the, the Cart Life Long Distance DS is pretty cool. Really nice upgrades and impressive look to it. But I can't help but notice how whacked your battery setup is. He's not lying. He continues. <laughs> it looks like a 13 year old girl with one arm installed it with no tools and are those side mounts? Keep up the good work and keep the videos coming. George, we got something for you today. I'm Mike, I'm Joe, and this is Cart Life TV. What's up guys, we're here in the shop and we are gonna upgrade the battery on the Club Cart DS and we are gonna do what we think is the ultimate gas golf cart battery upgrade. All right, so our buddy George, who, uh, who happened to write us uh, an email this week, is correct. Check out this battery we got in the golf cart. It is an old die hard battery with side terminals. I don't know where I had this thing. I think I had it laying around in the garage. I think it was left over from when I changed the battery in my Corvette. Um, but we needed a battery when we were rebuilding this thing, so we threw it in. It did have side terminals. It is rigged pretty, pretty bad. It's ugly. Spaghetti wiring right now. Spaghetti wiring. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna upgrade that battery to the Optima Yellow Top. It is an AGM battery. It's got some serious cranking power and it should be exactly what we need for our long distance golf cart. I know I'm looking at this thing again and it is really embarrassing. I can't believe we have such a cool hooked up, upgraded Club Car DS. One of, in my opinion, one of the coolest Club Car DS's around. Um, and I know a lot of you guys do have really cool Club Car DS's. I would put this one up against most of them, um, but that is absolutely embarrassing. Um, the first thing I do notice about this Yellow Top Optima is it is a little bit bigger than a Series 75 or Group 75, which is what's in this golf cart now. So we're gonna have to make some modifications to get it to fit, but we definitely want the cranking power, especially with all the accessories we have on the golf cart. So we're gonna get this old battery out of here and see what we gotta do to get the Optima in. So to get this battery in, we're gonna to have to make as much room as possible. And that means rerouting the main battery ground that's located on the frame, goes directly to the negative terminal on the battery. We're gonna switch that to the opposite side of the frame rail where it's mounted now. All right, so we're about ready to install the uh, the yellow top battery in the golf cart here. Joe did a really good job. Hey, props to you, dude. Props to this guy because he actually modified the battery tray. We had to cut away some of the aluminum um, to make room for the Optima battery because it's a little bit bigger, but it's gonna give us more cranky power, more amps um, for the golf cart and all the accessories we're running like the winch and light bars and stuff. Um, let me show you what we did here. We actually cut away some of the aluminum um, and we made uh, some custom risers to bring the battery up a little bit in the pan, only about a half an inch or so. Um, so, we, so we made sure that we cleared the air box. Um, when we tried to put the battery in without making these modifications, the air box actually shifted a little bit and the choke wasn't moving smoothly at all. So we had to make some adjustments. If you look here, we did, uh, we did notch it away. Battery sits in here perfect now. So it's time to, uh, to install it, take the straps off and uh, hook it up. So let's go. Connectors. 
So these are the terminals we're gonna be putting on the battery. We got these on Amazon. Um, they're really cool. They have six different posts and different ways that you can uh, plug and mount mount power to it. Just clamp onto the battery um, with the Allen nut here, and then you just kind of connect your uh, your wires to it. it. Looks pretty simple. We're gonna get these installed now and see how it looks, um, and then get this battery in place. Alright guys, so we did have a, uh, a chance to just run the golf cart and test the new battery to make sure everything works. And this is really, really impressive and something that we definitely were not expecting. The first thing we noticed was that the response from the throttle was improved quite a bit. Um, the motor sounds a lot better, like it's firing better through the ignition system and the spark plug. Um, these are things that I was definitely not expecting and it just kind of maybe makes me think that either the old die-hard battery wasn't good anymore or might have been dying um, or this Optima battery is really that much better. Um, I'm going to go with this Optima battery is really that much better and take a look at this diagram we found online here. It really shows the differences between the Optima style battery here and the old style battery. Really, really cool. We're reading a solid 12.7 volts on our electrical system and the starter generator is charging the battery at 14.4 to 14.5 volts. So everything is going really well. So we definitely have plenty of cranking power and this was definitely a really, really good upgrade for the long distance golf cart. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, that wraps it up for today. We got the Optima battery to fit in this golf cart, thanks to Joe modifying the uh, battery frame. Uh, awesome job. This thing is great. This is the best battery you could put in a Club Car DS gas for starting and running a ton of accessories. Make sure you check it out. If you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to Cart Life TV. Like and comment on the posts. Look what happens when you comment or send us an email. We actually... Uh, we acted on it, and we do appreciate you, George, for calling us out on our crappy battery job. It is much better now. We do have plans to rewire the golf cart. We're gonna get to that down the road, but for now, we're gonna roll out. Make sure you subscribe to Cart Life TV, and if you wanna support us and the channel, lowspeedliving.com, it's right here on the screen. Make sure you check it out. We got a ton of merch on the way. New merch dropping probably two, three weeks. Mid-September, check it out. We're out. Peace.